so uh, just this just happened I uh, I was backing out to the driveway and the car stopped and I couldn't engage any gear and uh, then to put the car back into the garage I uh, I put press this button here in while in neutral and this allowed me to move the car back to the garage I guess it engaged rear wheel uh, so now I jacked up the car and uh, I looked down and I have the drive shaft I guess came off and uh, it's so damaged here and you know, here all like shaved off and also this piece too uh, got damaged uh, all of this was ripped away all this metal and uh, yes this was my problem because the car was doing the car had a lot of vibration the day before this fell off and I assume something like this will be uh, I never changed this but I read online originally uh, this was making making vibration like in the middle there when I would drive it in that area I guess here even will make a vibration and it, yeah I kept driving it for like maybe two months and uh, finally car give up well at least that part so that's really my fault um, yeah now uh, the car has over 300,000 miles and uh, this never was you know doesn't seem like it never was changed and uh, now I, I damaged it uh, by not fixing it but I'm just gonna try to fix this first time doing this and see what it is um, I had um, this vibration for two months on the car and um, I finally uh, the car wouldn't drive and uh, uh, so now that I look back I kind of anticipating this could happen I read online that uh, the, when you have uh, when I have vibration when I drive uh, that means something could be going on with this I guess U joint thing and uh, yeah it finally this shaft came out when I got out of the garage and uh, yeah this been giving me for a while for around two months the car was telling me that to fix this and I, I didn't fix it and looks like it got uh, all this metal uh, every time I drove uh, got uh, I guess removed and it finally the shaft fe fell out fell, uh, fell off and that that was my error because again for two months the car told me uh, check it out replace it and I kept driving because um, the car have been very reliable this is like second thing uh, um, kind of big problem I had with this car and first was like a transmission wire got corroded and I replaced it and so now uh, this second thing so so when I uh, uh, when I uh, drove away and I couldn't drive, uh, what I did is I uh, pressed this button here 
and then I was able to drive the car back to the garage. Uh, I believe that's called center differential lock and so that helped me and uh, now I'm just gonna try to remove this piece and um, see what happens I, uh, I never did this before but uh, kind of yeah so I'm just gonna go and see what happens and for my understanding I have to uh, so I have to I guess remove now um, these four bolts and then also on the end remove four bolts there I'm assuming and first It is surprising now that I look how much damage was happening here as I was driving and uh, so but I kept driving um, From my understanding, I have to mark somewhere here. Um, so yeah, it actually worked putting in the in the parking. Turn on the parking brake. I just had to move this little bit, and now it seems it's locked. Uh, um, and I'm gonna make sure I guess yeah so it goes one way but it doesn't go clockwise it goes counterclockwise and I was told I should use like a pen and mark how it was before and from my understanding it's not very important to mark here but when I take out this part, I should mark it. Um, but I think having a video will help me as well to see how it was before. So I'm gonna remove now this piece right here. Uh, so I'm removing this and what helped me is I only have this tool so what I did is um, just kind of hold this and I put range 17 millimeter and then But the idea is uh, to hold this 
what helped me is to hold this on this side and just make sure this doesn't go uh, by putting this here so it seems like it's coming out now it was hard for me to film and uh, move my hands so but the idea was just to hold from this side so I put something here metal so it doesn't rotate and from this side use the other wrench um, it seemed like it came out somewhat easy um, So I'm just going to remove all of these pieces. Mm -hmm. I have removed all the bolts. I'm going to try to tap it with the hammer. like it's stuck so maybe I need to use some penetrating oil Okay, so uh, so let's make this shaft. Was this way, and I'm assuming this has to be had to be this way. So. I'm just gonna take this marker, Sharpie gel, and I'm not sure if that matters, but just in case, I don't know, huh, I don't know if this will work actually. So I keep removing it. Okay, it seems like it's out. Okay, so I can actually even make this up now, just came up. So this will just point down always.
Okay, but this is the damage was it's pretty significant looks like. Um, yeah so wow all this got chewed up and I kept driving with it and the car kept telling me like stop and fix this but that really was my problem. The car is really very reliable but well and uh, now I'm gonna try to do the same on this side. So I couldn't reach well and so I just took this piece right here, remove it. Now I think I have better access uh, to the four bolts. Okay, I think I have to do again something where uh, this doesn't move. I bet there's probably a good way to do this, but well, I don't know. So I keep rotating and the shaft was rotating. I put the brakes on and still rotating. So I'm gonna, I put a 14 millimeter uh, wrench and my idea is that this wrench won't be moving once I rotate, once I use the uh, this tool, I'm gonna see what happens. Uh, so it seems like it's working now, I was able to rotate this, so uh, The wrench in the back helped me and I guess this piece is stopping it from rotating so I'm just gonna use that technique on on the rest of the of the bolts and here I'm using this uh, this U-joint extension it seems like it's helping me So I have removed three of them, uh, so there's one left and the problem is that uh, actually I guess I could have put this one on the last one and move it, uh, but I thought of something else so I just decided to put uh, kind of this, jam this uh, bar uh, into the drive shaft and just I'm gonna rotate it and see what happens hopefully that bar will, will hold the uh, will hold the shaft from rotating uh, so what I tried earlier didn't work with the bar so I'm just gonna use the 14 millimeter uh, range on the other side and I'm gonna use 14 millimeter on the front here and believe that will work uh, yes so it seems like it's working now And yeah, this uh, U joint extension helped me uh, to ma navigate through the this uh, that space there. So now they are loose, the bolts. So I'm just gonna remove them by hand. I have removed all the bolts, so now I'm just gonna 
spraying some penetrating oil. Hopefully that will help. And then I don't know. I hope this will work. Yeah, it seems like it's stuck. Um, I need to think. I finally had a chance to remove this. Uh, what helped me was kind of using this tool and hitting it with the hammer. And then I used this to kind of pry it off. Uh, seemed like came off okay um, I didn't mark it uh, how it went so I think it's okay I think the only from my understanding I have to mark it here uh, before I remove this so now I'm just gonna try to slide slide the shaft It seemed like it came off, okay. Uh, I'm missing one of the bolts, so I have to. I think it fell in, so I'm just gonna go get it. Uh, so I have removed the shaft, and uh, what I wanna do now, well, I'm gonna open the garage door. I wanna start the car. So now I want to start the car and I actually need the car to drive uh, so I'm gonna order uh, this piece and the, the ends, the U-joint but I need to drive the car so I'm, I want to test I hope nothing happened with the car um, um, since I broke the I broke the shaft. I hope there's no damage. Uh, like transmission or things of that nature. Just want to see what will happen. And so I'm going to drive without the. without the shaft. Uh, here you go, everything seems to be working. Uh, um, so I'm just gonna walk around. Okay, let's see what happens with the wheels. So, um, so I have put the car in the drive mode and the wheels are spinning in the back. I think so that's a good sign, I believe. So now I'm just gonna put it neutral. I'm gonna disengage the center differential. Oh, wait a second. Okay, so, uh, so now 
VSC of Okay, we have so it's still going with VSC, so it looks like it might work with center differential on or off, but I'm gonna test it once I put the car down. Um, so I'm now gonna try to drive without the f with front shaft removed. So let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, this looks like okay. Uh, so I cannot engage uh, the reverse uh, without going to the center lock. I'm gonna go to center lock now. Okay. Center lock good to go and then let's see. Okay, looks like now the car is working. I can actually drive. Okay, the car is making some noises. But it's going. It's going. Okay, so okay, so it seems like it's working with the center differential lock on. So I'm just gonna drive like that until I fix the car. Uh, I wouldn't drive if I have like a second car uh, to use, but I need this car at this moment. So I'm just gonna. Keep driving it. And so I have gotten the part to replace, and uh, I'm gonna try to remove this from here. Uh, hopefully, this will work. It got damaged. Got the part to replace. The old one, the broken one, and uh, I already started, and then I got this piece to replace the the one that is was broken, melted, and uh, so the way it was set up on this type, on this uh, here. On this model, it was this ring was here, and I just removed it, and another one here, and now I I'm using like a socket to hit it from top, and hopefully this will come out, and I can remove the U joint, and I decided to hit it from the bottom from this side because here. It it melted 
and uh, it seems like it's coming out. I hope it will work, but there's damage here too. But I don't want to replace this whole assembly. Just hopefully this will work. Uh, so I'm gonna finish hitting this piece out and uh, remove it from the bottom. I kept hitting it and it finally came out from this side and I guess I just have to remove this piece and then um, perhaps do the opposite so from my understanding uh, this won't come out so I have to do uh, the opposite just go from this side and uh, hit it until this piece comes out at the bottom so I have hit it hit the, the other side and it seems like it's coming out and uh, I'm assuming I just have to remove this piece now and uh, seems like it's working now And this is the damage I caused to the car. Uh, and so here's the original. And um, I hope, I don't know, I hope this will be enough. It's a little bit, little bit thick, thin compared to here. Uh, I'm not sure if this will work for long term, but uh, unfortunately, okay, I'm going to try it anyways, and I'm ready to put um, you joint back, so I'm going to remove all of these. Standing, I don't want to lose the um, uh, the pieces inside the your joint, and um, gonna start uh, with one piece underneath and then I use hammer for my understanding to hit here and then now I'm gonna try to put the other one this up to where I was able to move this piece so I kind of um, hit it from the top here and then I use this and then hit it this way and uh, I guess there's many ways, maybe use something like this. To help me was using something like this tool and I put it here and then I hit it with the hammer. And uh, it seemed like it uh, almost all the way now on this side. Now I'm going to do the other side. And I don't know if it matters, but I had this grease. And uh, I'm just gonna put it in there more, in addition to what's there. I don't know again if that matters, first time doing this. Um, I also grease these pieces while this is... Uh, I have, I can do this now, and now 
Uh, I'm gonna put this one back slowly. This side and uh, so now I want to turn this around and just again yes use this to hit it from this side and hopefully that will work so I just realized what I was doing was not correct I saw something on uh, YouTube and the idea actually is to remove this back uh, and then uh, what I want to do is hit what I already put in there and hit it down so this way uh, that this piece uh, would, will go the correct way. Uh, the, the reason is for the for the uh, I guess the pins not to fall off from the other side. Okay, so I hit it with the with the hammer, and now uh, it is safe to put uh, uh, the the other piece. Now we'll hit it from the top, I believe. So now I'm gonna put the top one. And uh, I guess the idea from what I saw and uh, somebody else doing is now I have to hit it from top and the pin should sit shouldn't come out I'm gonna use this hit it from top here not too hard and so I have uh, so here is now the position that's the position of the U joint and for my understanding uh, since I have to put these rings here uh, I need to hit this part but not too, not too hard so that I can still put this here actually I probably just insert this now and then hit it from the other side I've put the C clip here now I'm gonna hit this from this side and put the other C clip. So I hit um, the U joint again using this piece, so it, I guess it distributes the force evenly. And now I'm gonna just put the last one here on this side. I'm ready to install this piece this is the old one the one i damaged and uh, so um once i installed it i'm not sure which way it is gonna go because i didn't mark it with the the one the stand i have to mark with the pencil and i marked on this side here and the other part will be on, in the car, but there is no marking for this side since this piece fell uh, fell off and um, another thing when I installed this it was hard to move this uh, so what I did is uh, I hit it on them slightly Uh, 
and once I did that it was uh, easier to move this piece and uh, what I want is for this piece to from what I read to rotate freely I guess kind of like here this really rotates well uh, so now I'm just gonna install this piece uh, with the same idea how I installed here uh, so I have put one of these at the bottom and uh, now I'm gonna hit with the hammer here lightly uh, so now I hit it with the hammer now I'm gonna So I turn it around and I'm going to use this and hit it from this side, from the top. Uh, so when I was hitting it I put um, this piece on top of the, uh, on the, on the foundation of this so it doesn't move. Seems to be working for me. I didn't have success. Uh, uh, with the um, hammer it, hammering this piece all the way inside. So I have decided to use this tool. Um, so then I'm gonna hit it from the top. And I hope this will help me. Finally able to put uh, the top and the bottom and um, it was combination of hitting from one side and another. Uh, the main thing I was looking is that uh, the pins inside that they would not come out and they seem like they stayed well there. It's moving, uh, it's moving freely and uh, uh, last thing is what is left is I just need to put this piece here actually I'll put this last but now I need to put the clips inside and then the this piece here. I tighten this piece and then put the four rings, C rings, and it's moving well now. Uh, loose. So, what I did is I kind of went around, just hit it around it, like here, 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 but not too tight. And uh, it seems like it's working. I'm just gonna. Put some uh, uh, grease. So I have been uh, driving uh, without the front shaft, drive shafts for I guess maybe a month and a half. Maybe I put like a, I mean close to 2,000 miles maybe. I'm not sure but a, a lot. And uh, so what I did is, uh, is I, um, turn on the, turn on the center lock differential and uh, all my rear wheels were, um, so I only drove with the rear wheels and it seemed like it was working. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like there was issue uh, with this. So I have the shaft here and I just need to put one end there. And uh, 
one end here. I, w I believe I'm gonna start from this side first. And then move to the other side. So. Got this thread locker and I'm gonna put it, put it on the bolt. We have, I think, I, in a good place to put the uh, put the shaft. So what helped me was uh, I can use the wheel and then. Uh, I could actually move the front shaft to adjust it and uh, it seems now it's working and uh, I also realize I can actually compress or expand this shaft I guess that's the purpose of it so now I'm gonna put a thread locker on these bolts and then start uh, back how I took them out. Uh, I'm tightening uh, the bolts. I already tightened them a little bit each and now I'm going one by one again. So what helped me was uh, put a 14 millimeter wrench here. This way the bolt on the other side won't move when I uh, tighten here and I put like 80 pounds. I don't know. I think that's Maybe too much, but I, I think it's okay. Uh, so I'm gonna go one by one, and again I use the thread locker. It says 20 minutes I have to tighten them before it sets. So I'm putting a uh, thread locker, and then I'm putting a bolt. Uh, so I'm gonna put all of them. I'm not gonna tighten, and then I'm gonna tighten them one by one, little while moving, rotating this shaft and tighten them not all the way but maybe I have to do two or three times rotate the shaft while tightening it so every bolt I will tighten maybe two or three times I think that will help me with to distribute uh, I guess the seal better I'm not sure but that's the what I had in plan so I first I tighten I tighten using the wrench and now I will put this wrench here as a leverage 17 millimeter and then I'm gonna tighten this back uh, so I put again the wrench so this doesn't move when I tighten so I, I have tightened the I tighten the shaft the bolts and from my understanding, um, I need to also check the rear drive shaft just while I'm here. So make sure I want to make sure that it's not, nothing is gonna happen like happen here. The way I understood, I need to kind of move these around and just see if it's if it's uh, loose and just maybe hit it with the hammer. And it seems like this is fine to me. I'm gonna I'm gonna start the car now and just see what happens. Turn off the. Actually, I'm gonna look, see what happens. Okay, the shaft is not rotating. I'm 
Okay, put it in the D drive and uh, seems like front wheels are rotating now. Oh, so the shaft is rotating as well. I don't know, perhaps it's out of balance, I don't know. I need to drive it and see more. But, uh... I'm gonna... Now I'm gonna put neutral and Turn off the central dif central lock. Now it's, it feels like there's some vibration. From my understanding, uh, it's possible the shaft needs some type of uh, adjustment, calibration. And uh, since I'm doing this first time, I'm learning this myself now. But. like it's working but now I'm gonna try driving it and uh, then only then I guess I will know what, what is if it's working 100% so I have been driving for a little bit and it seemed like the the car drives like it was before uh, before the shaft uh, came out uh, but I'm gonna keep still driving and see but uh, so far I'm I'm happy that I was able to fix this